once we got our uh, car, the 54 Chevy, the Red Bomb as we called it, uh, we pretty much went in, into Arachnon almost every night. Uh, we would take turns driving. I would drive in one night, and my roommate would, would drive back, and the next night he'd switch. He'd drive in, and I would drive back. Uh, a lot of times, uh, we would go into town, and we would stop at this restaurant called the Caprice, and that was right in Lion Square, right next to the Morosini Fountain, uh, which is quite old. Uh, and we, we'd sit there and, and drink some wine or some beer and, and uh, kibitz a bit, and then uh, we'd go back to base. Uh, and this one night, fortunately, we didn't drink hardly anything at all, a couple beers, and on the way back to base, my roommate was driving, and I was sitting in the passenger side, falling asleep, and we had to go through this mountain area before we got back to to the town of Gornis and then base. So we're going through the mountains and apparently uh, my, uh, the room, my roommate was driving and he skidded on some cinders on the side of the road going around one of the curves, one of the many curves in the mountain area. And the next thing I realized was he was waking me up and he was saying, John, Help me push the car back on the road. So, being half, uh, you know, asleep and then woken up, I was kind of startled and I didn't really know what he was talking about. So finally, as I was becoming more awake, I opened the door, the passenger door, and I saw the Mediterranean below me. And I'm thinking, holy moly, this is unbelievable. So I had to actually step back to get out of the car because the car was pretty much rock, resting on the rocker panels and it, I mean it wasn't teetering but it was it was right there the two front wheels were over the cliff so we tried pulling the car back that we didn't we couldn't do anything so finally a couple other GIs on the way back to base stopped and we told them what happened and they Went, went back to base and they sent the air police with their wrecker to pull us off this uh, precarious ledge we were on. Uh, so they did that and we, we uh, got back to base and uh, that, that was it. But we were very, very, very lucky. And uh, the next night we hopped in the car and we went back into town again.